Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another weekly construction and build video for the global version of Azure Lane. So we're still knee deep in the Frozen or the Winter's Crown event, I should say. And we do have all of the event ships already. So for my weekly polls, in order to fulfill the weekly and daily quests, I've been doing light construction polls. Again, in the hunt for that St. Louis and the hunt for that Concord, we've been doing light constructions. And so right now for this segment, we're going to be doing 12 light construction poles. I have nine of them queued up right here, and then we're going to do another three for today. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and finish all. Start deploying these. First up is going to be a Raleigh. And then a Mutsuki. A Comet. A Yugure. Next grouping is going to start with another Mutsuki. So far we've gotten all common. There we go! Okay! Amazing! Wow, we got St. Louis. I am so pleased right now. I can't believe it. Oh man. I, I wasn't. We got just a string of destroyers and commons. And then St. Louis suddenly appears. Uh, that certainly saves me some farming that I would have to do in my future. So I am absolutely thrilled about that. So we got St. Louis. Hello, I'm St. Louis, but I'm called Lucky Lou. Hey, Commander, don't you think it's your lucky day finding me like this? It must be. It must be my lucky day. Wonderful. So we're going to lock St. Louis in. I actually have a costume ready for her. St. Louis, hands down, one of my favorite designs in the game, one of the designs that actually got me to start following Azure Lane. I'll be sure to toss it on at the end of the video so we can showcase that live 2D costume. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and keep rolling on. Next is going to be a Tanikaze, and then a Craven, followed by an Atlanta. So that is wonderful. We got St. Louis who has been our target for quite some time now. Really, what we're missing from the light construction pool, I think, is just Concord, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there might be an Elite or two in there that I could still go for, but um, but definitely St. Louis was a primary target, so I'm thrilled about that outcome. Wow, so I just realized that I was so excited about getting St. Louis, I completely forgot to do the three pulls to fulfill today's daily mission. So uh, let's go ahead and do those now. Whoopsies. Uh, we're going to do three daily pulls from the light construction. Okay, let's finish all and see what we get. First up is going to be an Edinburgh. Okay, an Elite. That's nice. Achilles is next. That's a rare. And finally, we're, we're going to get another Belfast. Wow. You know what? Ever since I got my first Belfast, the Belfasts have just been rolling in. And I am certainly okay with that. If Belfast wants to take the place of San Diego, uh, I'm not going to be complaining anytime soon, so that is perfectly fine with me. I am happy to see her. So that's great. That's going to wrap up this segment of Daily Pulls, and then uh, we're going to jump right into the next one. Okay, just wanted to capture here that we got Fiji as a drop, finally, grinding A3, uh, burning our oil, trying to get Fiji. She is a drop only from the event Winter's Crown, so she's only available uh, in as a drop from Winter's Crown, you can't get her from the construction. She's only a rare, but her drop rate is actually pretty low. Uh, and we did manage to get her, so we did complete that aspect of the Winter's Crown event. So that's fantastic. And Fiji looks great. I mean, she's a rare ship, um, so she's not like an elite or a super rare. But all the same, her design is fantastic. Very fashionable, very cute. I like her a lot. Uh, so we got Fiji. Hey, Fiji's here. Are you the commander? Hmm. <laughs> you don't look too shabby. Nice seeing you, Commander. All right, so we got Fiji. That's super cool. We're gonna lock her in here and take a quick look at her. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really awesome. We managed to get her without too, too much trouble. I've heard some horror stories of people trying to grind Fiji and, uh, and it wasn't too, too bad for us. But yeah, that is very exciting. Um, yeah, got her as a drop, just like I said, from a normal node, so you can actually see right here, it wasn't the boss the boss node, it was just uh, a normal node on A3, so good luck, happy farming, hope you got her uh, relatively painlessly. 
All right, so we're ready for another 12 pulls for our missions. I'm not really expecting a whole lot from these light construction pulls. We've been getting pretty ridiculously lucky getting targets from our light construction as well as the event ship drop. So uh, I am expecting to get nothing, which I think is the right approach. I think that's a healthier level of, of pessimism. So let's finish all. These are nine right here, and then we're going to finish off with another three for today's daily missions. Started off with an Omaha. Okay, so we started it off with an Omaha. Up next is going to be uh, Ayanami. Okay. I forgot that she gets added into the pool after you unlock her. Uh, Achilles is next. So we've gotten an Elite so far. Oh, wow, we got, we got Concord. Another one of sort of the added in after launch uh, ships into the light construction, and she's she's great. She's um, and she's pretty hard to get, and that really means that we've gotten all of our light construction targets. We got St. Louis, we got Concord, and we got Aurora. So uh, there might be one or two that we're missing at this point, but what that really means is that we're just looking for merges from light construction going forward, uh, or limit limit break material, I should say. Um, but that is quite a surprise. This has been quite a good week for light constructions. Let's uh, let's lock Concord in. Light Cruiser Concord reporting in. Do I like lollipops and ice cream? Huh? Does the commander always like to gaze at people's feet? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not really into feet, Concord. Not me. Not this. Not this Shikikon. Okay. But happy to have her, glad to have a new ship in the dock, and that is very exciting. That's awesome. So we did get Concord. Cassin is next. Uh, a Crescent is following her. And then a Fortune. Uh, a Benson. And we're going to finish it off with a Ranger. Okay. So we got Concord. That is phenomenal. And we're going to do another three light constructions right now for today's dailies. All right, so let's use our quick finishers and see what we get. A, ooh, a Brooklyn. I like her design a lot. A, ooh, another Fortune. Uh, I think I have her max limit broken. Okay, and a Downs. All right, so that's gonna be it for this set. Uh, pretty exciting. We got all of the light construction ships that we're looking for, and I think going forward, we're just gonna be going for limit break material in light construction for our weekly pulls until they add more uh, of these kind of hard to get ships into the vast light construction pool in the future. All right, let's not waste any time. Another 12 pulls, let's finish all. Again, all from the light construction pool. Hoping to get a couple of dupes here for limit breaking. We can start off with a fortune. Uh, next, next is going to be a Yugure. And McCall. Uh, Juno. <laughs> you know, I can't even really be mad. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen Sandy, so it's, uh, you know, it's almost good to see her again. Almost. Next up, we've got a Bogue, followed by a Ranger. All right, two more here. So after we wrap up this, okay, Cassin and another Bogue. All right, so after we wrap up these, uh, I think we're gonna do probably one more set uh, before we kind of finish off the weekly polls and um, kind of show the progress on the Winter's Crown event. So these last three is, uh, is gonna start with a Crescent and then, ooh, a Brooklyn. Right, last one. Finish it off strong. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay, all right, a Concord. That is actually finishing it off strong. These, um, Concord is pretty rare, so, hey, not bad. That is a limit break material for my Concord. Fantastic. And shortly thereafter, I just wanted to capture, uh, we got Duke of York from the lottery finally, so uh, wasn't too bad. We did get her without too much trouble. Uh, relatively, I think, normal luck, so... New ship, new super rare ship, Duke of York. I see. So the scent that has been driving me crazy emanates from thy soul. 
O sinful commander who tempts me so, engrave my name upon thine heart, Duke of York of the Royal Navy. Okay, lock her in, fantastic. Uh, so that is going to be, I think, all of the event ships, except maybe the one that we get from the missions. Um, yeah, I might still have to get her. Okay, then, closing in on the home stretch of the Winter's Crown event, we've got a last lineup of light constructions, and we're just going to finish all here and then do three more for today's mission. So we're going to get a Fletcher, Hermes, uh, Omaha. Oh, nice! We've got another St. Louis! Oh, lucky, lucky Lou. That is amazing. That's... That's perfect. We've been hunting her for so long. I mean, it's just like a gacha game, right? As soon as you get the thing that you're hunting, or the lady that you're hunting, all of a sudden you get her en masse, right? Same thing happened with Belfast. After we got our first Belfast, we got a ton of Belfast. You know what? Keep the St. Louis's coming, because I am more than happy to see her. I'm going to be using her for limit-breaking purposes, so that's amazing and fantastic. Definitely pleased with that. Let's keep right along. Colm is next. Okay, we're going to round out the rest, the last five here. Uh, we'll get another Colm. Uh, an Ajax. Yeah, Raleigh. Uh, Signet, whose uh, who swimsuit event is going on right now. And Sims. Uh, or Rerun, I should say. Uh, nice for those of you who missed it the first time around. So like I said, we'll just wrap it up with another three. So 13 for this segment. Uh, let's clear some space real quick. Okay, and let's wrap it up. Use these quick finishers. First up is going to be a McCall. <laughs> perfect ending to a perfect video. Exactly what uh, we didn't need, but it wouldn't be a daily construction video without San Diego. Uh, and can't be mad because we got everything else that we wanted pretty much uh, in the last couple of weeks. So that's amazing. And Konigsberg is the final pull. Well, realizing that we were three away from an even 50 pull, I decided, you know what, we're going to splurge for the video for the end of Winter's Crown, the event that's treated us so well. We're going to do three limited construction pulls from the event itself, and if we get dupes, we can use them for limit breaks. Uh, so <laughs> let's, uh, let's end it off with a bang and finish these three limited construction pulls. Oh, come on. Okay, that was a might anticlimactic, but nevertheless, here we go. Let's finish all. Uh, Pensacola, a Kent, and finally a Portland. Okay. So no event chips at the end there. We didn't need any of them anyway, but would have been nice to finish off with one of the limited chips. So wonderful. Uh, so that's going to do it. Th those are all of the light constructions, the daily constructions uh, that we did for the Winter's Crown event. We got all of the event ships on the first day, or all of the pullable event ships on the first day. Um, pretty lucky. Uh, and throughout the course of the rest of the Winter's Crown event and our daily pulls, we managed to get uh, some Concords, some San Diegos, uh, as you can see right here, looking very lovely with her live 2D um, winter costume here. She looks amazing. Uh, uh, as you can see, really upping the uh, upping the ante as far as the live 2D animation is concerned. Just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, love the umbrella, the background. Uh, just you know, overall her her reactions, her unique animations. It's just really robust um, and pretty impressive. So I uh, definitely recommend this skin if you end up getting or farming for San Diego. Uh, I think, actually it was a limited skin, so <laughs> I guess go for this skin once it returns because it's absolutely worth it, um, I would say. See, look at that, she like flips the umbrella, that's so cool. Let me get out my umbrella, so she has like, you know, unique uh, speech lines. You can see her here. I think as soon as I, yeah, as soon as I tap her, she, uh, Okay, and she's got the little Manju animation here. So yeah, really cool. I mean, they really um, outdid themselves with this skin. 
Uh, something I will note for fans of St. Louis out there, the blue and white pottery skin, um, the original Live 2D skin for St. Louis uh, that was converted into a Live 2D skin, I should say, uh, they ended up decensoring this skin. Uh, so for those of you who were um, waiting to buy this skin because it was it was censored, they basically um, increased the cutout of the, the chest area and um, made some other modifications to the animation. So in light of that, I'm going to go ahead and support that. I will go ahead and buy the blue and white pottery skin uh, and try that out as well. So the skin blue and white pottery. What do you think of this foreign dress, Commander? Perhaps it's rekindled something within you. But yeah, uh, I actually prefer the other skin more, but I, I, I would like to try this one out, so, uh, whoops. Oh, that's cool, I didn't know you could choose multiple Saint Louis, uh, multiple copies and put the costume on multiple copies, but that makes sense. So let's go ahead, go back to the secretary, and we can see her in the, in the new costume. Really the older costume, but yeah. <laughs> I guess she's doing like a little, a little nose nuzzle. She's, she's waiting in anticipation. It's pretty cute. Oh, she blushes. That's nice. So yeah, these are the two live 2D skins for St. Louis. Probably end up switching back to the other one. I think I like that one just a little bit more. I think the hairstyle. I just really like the hairstyle of the other one. Um, and But this one's excellent too, so you really can't go wrong. St. Louis fans are very spoiled. She has two amazing live 2D costumes to choose from. Um, so, you know... Pick your poison, <laughs> uh, whichever one you prefer. So uh, that's going to do it. Let's do a quick recap of the Winter's Crown event itself, just so that you guys can see um, how we're going to close on things. And yeah, just to round out the rest of the event from the supply shop, the lottery, uh, we got all of the event chips. We got Matchless here, of course. Uh, we ended up, we of course got Duke of York as well. Those are the high priority targets. Uh, we've accumulated all these Queen's Medals that I just haven't burned because we got our primary targets, uh, including the uh, dorm the dorm items. So all of sort of the high priority items we already got. So I guess what we might do is just burn the rest of these Queen Medals in the hopes of getting this, this Gold Bulin. Uh, phase 2, I got Matchless relatively early and I didn't get many of the Blueprints, so uh, or the Retrofit Blueprints. So maybe we could do that. Let's let's go ahead and burn these right now. Um, let's let's do ten at a time. See if we get lucky on any of these. Okay, we got some. Got a battleship. Uh, blueprint. Let's see if we can get one more. No. All right, come on. Come on, you gotta give us one more, right? Once we get one more blueprint... Oh, you're killing me. Oh, there we go, okay. So we got one more blueprint. Let's go ahead and switch to phase four. Let's let's burn all of the, uh, the Queen's Medals we have in the hopes of getting the Gold Bull in. Did we get her? Did we get anything? Oh my god, that was horrible. Okay, so no such luck, but that's okay. We're not really the target, not really that concerned about that. Okay, so all in all, a very successful event. Thanks for coming along and checking in with us, seeing how we're doing, um, watching our daily constructions. Uh, probably one of the most successful daily construction videos that we've put out. So definitely excited, definitely excited, and definitely building up all of these ships. Okay, so I think that is going to wrap it up for the Winter's Crown event. Very exciting, very successful. We ended up getting all of the event ships. Um, we also got that one ship from the missions. I forget what her name is. Um, and we got St. Louis, we got Concord, uh, basically we got all of our primary targets, uh, until the next event rolls around, which should be in just, uh, well actually I think we're gonna get a slight break, we're gonna get probably some mini events I think, for, uh, Quincy that's gonna come out, so she's gonna be a target for me, uh, once Quincy comes out maybe we'll put out a quick video, uh, on the event, but I think she's just a login reward. Um, so, but there's more on the horizon, more more exciting things in the world of Azure Lane that we'll certainly keep you abreast about. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, good luck on your pulls. Hopefully that your daily constructions went just as well or even better. You got all of the targets that you were looking for. So hopefully you enjoyed watching our pulls, watching um, our progress on the Winter's Crown event. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like. 
Comment and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you so, so much for watching. We really, really do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend with us. And until next time, let's protect those waters.